Well, developing tonight, as we get closer to the November election, abortion access is expected to be a major issue that could bring people to the polls. This week, the Supreme Court heard arguments against a popular pill used in some abortions. TNTV's Carla Rogner spoke with local groups about what these discussions could mean for Ohio. She's live tonight from the State House with the details. Carla. Yes, C CBS News is reporting that Supreme Court judges were skeptical about restricting access to the abortion pill after they heard arguments this week. But local activists we spoke to said they wanted to go to the cap Capitol to make sure that the judges knew where they stand on this controversial issue. So I've got to go. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Abortion bans have got to go. Paul is wrapping up a trip to Washington, D.C. with other Central Ohio abortion rights activists protesting restrictions to the abortion pill, Mifepristone. Bottom line, folks should get to access the care that they want and need. The Supreme Court hearing a case that could put restrictions on the use of the drug used in more than half of abortions in the U.S. If, if the Supreme Court decides to rule the wrong way, um, that is going to immediately and pretty dramatically restrict access to these pills in Ohio. And Ohioans are using these pills. They need them. They should have access to them, not only for elective abortion care, but for miscarriage management. Opponents of the pill argue the FDA overlooked safety concerns when easing access to mifepristone, including making it available by mail. We're against all abortions, whether it's a chemical abortion, surgical abortion. It's, so that's our position. But as long as abortion is legal and the abortion pill is legal, there ought to be common sense, as I say, common sense, limits, restrictions, requirements. Mark Harrington feels it's too easy to get the pill. Think about it. She's about ready to have an abortion, and yet she's not going to meet with a physician. And now they can get them over the mail. I mean, this is something that the, you know, the court needs to rule in our favor. And the Supreme Court is expected to make a decision on the future of the abortion pill in July. Live in Columbus, Carla Rogner, 10TV News. Carla, thank